In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing the Christmas horror slasher film, Christmas Evil. Christmas Evil is written and directed by Lewis Jackson. It came out November 7th, 1980, has a running time of 92 minutes. The uncut version is 100 minutes long, and the budget was $850,000. Now, this movie was originally titled You Better Watch Out, and it's also known as Terror in Toyland. And the plot of this movie follows a deranged man who is obsessed with being Santa Claus, who eventually goes on a murderous killing spree in a Santa Claus suit. Not only that, we open up in New Jersey, literally open up in New Jersey, and on Christmas Eve 1947, where a young boy named Harry kind of sees his mother being sexually kind of croaked by the father who's dressed up as Santa Claus. Traumatized by this, he runs upstairs and then cuts his hand with a shard of glass from a shattered snow globe. Like, he runs to the attic and does this. Like, he's traumatized by this event that happened to him. Okay, well, right, whatever. Doesn't get any more crazier than that. Oh, but it does. It does. 33 years later, as an adult, Harry works in a low-level position at the Jolly Dreams toy store our toy factory and his colleagues always consider him a schmuck for that matter and make fun of him a lot now at home he has taken upon himself to become the next true santa claus okay well what could transpire and how could he do that well he sleeps in his costume and his apartment is decorated in christmas decor all over and it's just different and he spies on his neighborhood, the neighborhood children, and he sees if they are being good or being bad, puts them on the list, and keeps detailed records of their behavior. Like, what kind of deranged man does this? Now, not only that, in order to get into the Christmas spirit on Christmas Eve, Harry kind of glues a Santa beard on his face. He starts making his rounds. He visits his nephew who puts he puts trees under for a good and then he visits some other kid who puts put something else under because he was bad and his van is decorated with slave pictures and kind of believes that he has trained his kind of car to be santa's closest reindeer uh he drops off toys at the hospital where he is greeted cheerfully by the staff so there's some good in him, and there's some not good in him. So you can tell he's doing good things for the good people, but then is killing the bad and naughty people. Now, this film, since its release, has gained a cult following. But I don't see it on any streaming or TV network when it is the holiday season. Uh, director John Waters, who you may know is a big cult indie director, has praised this film and repeated viewings of it because it's such a great cult holiday classic uh the interesting thing is that um there is an interesting aspect to it because how this movie starts and how it ends is very different than what you would thought it would be i mean just seeing how harry kind of sees what happened to his mother cuts off his hand and then becomes santa it's really different the aspect of the poster has nothing to do with the movie at all like santa claus holding a axe with toys going down a chimney okay what else could you do it's like silent night deadly night but with a different twist i had a fun time watching this but i feel like the story could have been fleshed out a little bit more for me christmas evil gets four out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about christmas evil did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it have you seen this movie and if you haven't seen it will you be checking it out now that i reviewed it do you like the aspect of this movie do you think it's up there as one of the big great christmas horror slasher films of the 1980s do you think it still has that cult following what is your favorite scene in this and what is your least favorite scene in it and what rating would you give christmas evil let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked, and I'll see you all in the next review video. Thank you for tuning in.